and they do add up, and they are literally within the scope of everybody in this hall should we choose to step up to that challenge. Part strategist, part social commentator, and part leadership coach, Steve Farber is all energy, devoting his professional life to leadership development. Steve is the president of Extreme Leadership Incorporated, an organization devoted to the cultivation and development of extreme leaders in the business community. The best-selling author of two books, The Radical Leap and The Radical Edge, Steve does between 80 and 100 speaking engagements a year, sharing his message of extreme leadership with hundreds of clients and thousands of staffers from every arena. I think we've gotten to the point where we use the word leader or leadership as a label or as a title without giving a lot of thought to what the implications are. And leadership, if you're really doing it and not just using the title, it's about transformation on some level. So leadership is already extreme. So when I say extreme leadership, I'm talking about the people that, that go beyond what they call themselves and really look at how they influence the world around them to change it for the better. Leader. In today's business world, it's evolved into more than just the title. Business leaders are asked to consistently deliver results, no matter what the challenge. If you're the CEO or president of the company, it doesn't automatically make you a leader. And I'll try to say this politely, but I've met some people over the years, very prominent people that sit very impressively on top of their company's organizational chart, have lofty and impressive sounding titles, that st this is the polite part, still have a bit of work to do as far as their leadership goes. And I've met lots of people that have no positional authority at all. They're on the front line doing work with customers or whatever, and they're great leaders. So what is it? Extreme leadership is the, is the act, the intentional act, of changing some piece of the world for the better. And that's an opportunity that's open to anybody, not just CEOs and presidents of companies, but literally any human being that chooses to step up to that challenge. Steve Farber is the president of Extreme Leadership Incorporated, an organization devoted to the cultivation and development of extreme leaders in the business community. The extreme leader is a person who takes what I call the radical LEAP day in and day out. LEAP is an acronym that stands for love, energy, audacity, and proof. So the extreme leader, with conscious intent, cultivates love, which means uh, he or she brings their heart into their work, creates an environment that people love working in, an environment that customers love doing business with, and is involved in work and causes, so to speak, that they love. Generating energy is our ability to influence the, the juice, the energy, the enthusiasm, uh, the excitement for what we do in the environment and the people around us. Inspiring audacity is inspiring, breathing life into, getting people to have a bold and blatant disregard for normal constraints in order to change the world for the better, getting others to have it and of course having it uh, ourselves, and ultimately we have to prove ourselves, we provide proof. And we do that through the consistency between our words and our actions. Extreme leadership is open to all who choose to pursue it, radically improving your organization and your life. I actually consider the Radical Leap and the Radical Edge taken together to be one book. The Radical Edge is not a rehashing of the first book. The Radical Edge is an exploration of the personal element of how to go about changing the world for the better and amplifying personal joy and meaning and fulfillment and making our business as successful as possible all at the same time. The LEAP is the it's kind of the operating system, I guess you could say. It's the, the roadmap, the agenda, the manifesto for the extreme leader. The radical edge is, is, is kind of what we do with that in the three arenas of work, personal life, and changing the world. I read Steve's book and found it to be one of the more um, straightforward explanations of complex subject matter and thought that it would very much speak to, to the people here at Kineticom who you know, are not going to be as turned on by management speak or MBA speak and they're going to be more turned on by the, the type of writing that Steve does. The feedback that I've gotten from people has been really extraordinary in terms of the, the impact that, that these ideas have on their life at work and beyond. Simon Billsbury is the founder and CEO of Kineticom one of America's fastest growing privately held companies. Simon and his staff have incorporated the principles of extreme leadership into their business and personal lives. We developed the concepts and the value system of LEAP, love, energy, audacity, and proof, 
into a format or a framework that was already familiar to people in the company and, to, and, and easily understandable for people that were joining the company. It's had a huge impact and the principles of extreme leadership have been something that the messaging has been authentic and accessible for our employees and we've seen that it, it's had a huge impact in our business results, our, the way that our teams work together, the way people integrate their business and personal lives and we're looking forward to continuing to work with Steve. Reading The Radical Leap compared to other management books I've read was completely different. It was a lot easier to read and I was able to relate it more to myself in life, um, both personally and professionally. How I've been able to apply The Radical Leap with customers is understand with customers that if I get to know them and they get to know me, both personally and professionally, and what my goals are and what they'd like to succeed, that we can come to mutual agreement and I can positively impact the change that they want to make within their company. We had the philosophies, we had all of the, all of the people sort of thinking in the same direction, but with extreme leadership, it put it into a framework. It gave us a more tangible thing to follow and to bring in, to, to train new employees within Kineticom. I just graduated from business school and this is my first job. Um, I really didn't know what to expect. I was afraid I was going to get lost in the process, just be another number, another person. But here I could identify with everyone. Everyone shares the same culture, the same principles and values, which has been really helpful. I can really enjoy what I'm doing here and feel like I really have a say and can relate to everyone as well. When I first came to Kineticom, I knew immediately that there was a difference from any other corporate environment I've been in before. Everybody was genuine, took responsibility for what they were um, working on or, or their actions and really had a strong sense of responsibility and after reading the Leap book or, and, and seeing kind of those values and what they were laid out, it was obvious that that was where a lot of it stemmed from or, or how it was played out. My uh, boyfriend is, has, uh, is a founder of a new company here in San Diego and when I got to know all the people that he was working with and got to hear his ideas and um, everybody was so excited about it. The first thing I said was, you need to have everybody read Leap. You need, to, because you already have that culture, you need to put something behind it. Giving them that culture, just letting them know about, you know, love and energy and everything and just letting them know that there is an explanation for what you're feeling and it's okay to go with that. <laughs> I see us moving in a direction where uh, we'll develop um, uh, educational programs um, and online tools uh, to continue to give people the resources and the community to talk to and help one another in putting this stuff into play. We have an opportunity, each and every one of us, to step into the role of the extreme leader in order to change things for the better. And I think it's not just a good idea. I think it's incumbent upon us as human beings to take up that challenge.